beautiful soul. Soul Whisperer here coming with the tarot weather looking at the month of June and I want to find out what kind of energy we might be experiencing during whatever is going on. I mean I think I have correctly said that from May through the end of the year there will be so much action and things happening that Sometimes you might not know your right hand from your left, or you might get caught up in appearances. And my messages are to sort of like look to see what can that energy be and how do we best navigate it so we don't lose ourselves, so we don't, you know, get emotional and get caught up in everything. So this is a general reading for the collective, looking at the energy for the month of June. And for this reading, I'll be using the Marchetti Tarot, one of my very favorite decks from Chiro Marchetti. And um, not, I'm not using his new one. I have a new, the new one by him, but I haven't used it much. But anyway, uh, and then a message from nature, from the spirits, will be with the Spirit Animal Oracle later. So thank you for joining me today. I hope you are well and happy and doing the best that you can to be loved, to emanate love, to walk in love, to know who you are, and to take care of yourself in love um, so that you have things to give and you don't get depleted yourself because I know you are about being concerned about the loved ones around you people around you and you want to be the best example for that and for them. So yeah, you have to keep your own picture filled before you can dip out to others. I'm sure you know that. Anyway, thank you so much for your likes, shares, donations, subscriptions, and comments. Always, always, always greatly appreciated. Welcome if you're new. Please subscribe and press the bell to get the notifications so that you will get a notice when I go live, release a video, or create a post. And I appreciate your uh, support. Okay. I hope everyone's doing really, really well and you're like meditating on the, uh, on the within checking in with yourself regularly, staying grounded, doing your spiritual hygiene, everything you need to do to get through these next months. Because I can guarantee you it's going to be a hot time in the old town tonight, as the old song goes, because there's going to be an awful lot going on, and it's just about to whip up in this uh, right now. <laughs> right now. Okay, all the way up to the election and through the end of the year. So... Let's look at some questions. I'm asking eight questions. Um, and uh, let's see what Spirit has to say. Okay. Spirit Posse, seeking a message, please, for the gathered about the tarot weather for the month of June. Paint a picture of the energy that we may meet, what it may feel like, and what kind of opportunities, challenges might be there, how we can come together, how we can improve ourselves, how we can remember the things that matter. Give us the best message the one most in need of being expressed at this time, for these ones, for that time. One that brings hope, encouragement, support, wisdom, guidance, in inspiration, advice, help, direction, even caution if we need that. The best message for these ones, 
at this time, for that time, and do so clearly, 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 that I may deliver it that way. Make me an instrument of thy peace, thy truth, thy joy, thy love, now, 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 and now. And so it is. Wow. Well, we have one Major Arcana card this month. Major Arcana are your high holy help, aspects of the universe weighing in, uh, meant to give you focus, emphasis, guidance, direction, uh, support from the universe. And uh, we'll, we'll need it. Um, we've got a mix of energy here, but we'll focus in on the questions that I asked. So let me move over. I hope these will be able, you'll be able to see these, uh, this time a little bit better. Okay. So the overall energy or theme for us this month is represented here by the Knight of Cups. The Knight of Cups. This is the lover. This is uh, someone who wants to make something happen, you know, who's working out of his feelings, who's uh, serious, who, um, but is about taking action. In other words, a lot of people talk a good game. Knights are always about acting on it, whether that action is advised or impulsive uh, is a different thing or another. This one can be acting out of emotions, out of feelings, out of something moving them forward. And that can be a good thing. And that can also be a not so good thing. Good if you're moving out of the impetus of real love, which is what this should be. But also not so good if something let's say love uh, gone awry can move you out of sort of low call low vibrations like jealousy or or uh, envy or greed or things like that that may make you take action but this action is 
somebody moving in love, wanting to make something happen in love. And so above everything, we're being told that the thing that's influencing us as a collective is this idea of acting in love, is this idea of moving from a space of love, is this idea of taking action first in love, you know, you, you know to, to remember yourself and remember that to get the benefits out of the energy around you is that to be love first, to remember love first. <clears throat> The Six of Wands here, generally a card of victory, victory after struggle, victory because you put in effort, suggests that as in this position of challenge this month, we might have difficulty navigating um, our month because there is the idea of forcing or making things happen. This is like energy, energy, this fire energy. And while we're trying to move out of love, keep the emotions even, so to speak, and move from love, the Six of Wands uh, might rush to try to identify obstacles or try to make things happen out of a sense of wanting success. Of course, it's a positive, uh, you know, impulse that does that. But as a challenge, it might mean that we might act now, think later. And so that could bring, you know, difficulties navigating what we run into this month because we're going to like, you know, maybe try to force things to happen or, you know, because we're not going to give up. Right. We're not going to be defeated. So let's see, you know, how we can offset this energy because it is a positive energy, but it's an energy that says that when you sometimes rush to make it happen um, as, you know, taking that action that we're doing out of love, it can also put you on your face if you haven't had some discretion or if you haven't given some thought to doing what needs to be done. We will have the opportunity, however, this month, and this is a wondrous thing, potentially to make the most of the things that happen, no matter what's happening out there. How do you take those, you know, uh, situations that you hear about, you see about, and make lemon out of lemonade, lemonade out of lemons, okay? Uh, because you're moving in love, you're, you know, that's overriding and it's telling you take action in love, don't force to make things happen impulsively, and as a result, you might have the opportunity to find some fulfillment. In other words, positive thinking, positive action, action in love can bring you wishes fulfilled, which is what this nine of cups energy is. It's about, you know, finding, getting the joy because you, you know, you're right impulsed, if you know what I mean. You're, you're motivated by right action, you know, right thoughts, right, right feelings, right steps, you know, positive uh, outlook. It brings uh, the opportunity for you to get some wish of yours fulfilled, some desire. What is it you've been trying to make happen? This suggests some ease if you don't try and force it, if you don't get inflamed with this energy of uh, the Six of Wands, that fire energy. And of course, I've been talking a little bit about uh, community in, uh, in some uh, random readings as, as well as this comes up a lot because it's so important to understand how we can be more unified than divisive. This society presents itself with division all the time and there's no lack of it now, nor will they be, especially as we go up to that election as something that has people, you know, definitely divided on one side of a fence or another you are being reminded to be of support, to work as a collective, to be in community with each other. And how to do that is to make right use of this six of wands. In other words, you don't give up at the first sign of ne maybe negative emotions around you. You're trying to be love and people aren't like feeling you, so to speak, and giving it back to you. But you know that, you know, to be victorious, you have to keep doing it. The, the key here is to not push too much. In 
terms of how to best support each other and foster community, it means the queen, My this has got to be my one of my favorite cards in this particular deck. I just love the red and the color. This is magic. This is the energy of somebody who is confident, this queen of wands, somebody who knows who she is, somebody who is, you know, so you're going to get out there and you're going to be the light. You're going to be the love. You're going to be charming and confident. And you're going to step out there and not be afraid to, you know, be a leader in the sense of being you. What does that mean? Being yourself and stepping out and not really worrying about, you know, am I, you know, am I too much? You know, am I, you know, what do, do people think this is okay or not okay? You, This queen doesn't really care what the people, if, you know, if they're judging her or if they think she's okay or not okay. They are kind of razzle-dazzle by her uh, confidence and her own charm and charisma. And the fact that she gets things done, she makes magic, she can make things happen. I like to say abracadabra get it done. And so she does. So what we have to do is you may have to be out here as the sort of initiative taker when it comes to fostering community. You know, don't be afraid to reach out. Don't be afraid to inquire into others. You don't have to wait for somebody to say something to you. You be the, you be the fire, you be the light. Okay. In this energy this month. And, you know, especially when you have a group of people that you maybe interact with or you're, you know, you're known in your neighborhood or something like that. Be a representative for light and good and, you know, confidence about the good things that are coming to us. Not so much po pointing out all the problems. We already have enough pointing out the problems. They're there everywhere around us. So this energy is asking or saying that, we can support each other by being confident about ourselves, about, you know, uh, being not afraid to take the initiative and move in our truth and our understanding of what is and let that be a reflection. Let it be our shine. Let it, you know, let yourself shine. And uh, that will help bring people together or bring people around you who, you know, are drawn to that. Uh, she's pretty magical, so you can get things done. Plus, we got the Nine of Cups here that says we have the opportunity to make magic and get what we want. I think that's brilliant, and I think that's, you know, absolutely wonderful. Um, what, you know, and what we have here are several wands energy, which is that energy of illumination. You know, you're being the light. You're being the spark, you know, and you're, you're creating you know, and, and it's all about using that energy. And I think the Tarot Temp this week was all about needing for you to, you know, be that, don't block that energy of creativity, you know. So uh, the Page of Wands represents some lessons we may be having this month to personal growth. It may be that because pages are all about being... Um, novices, you know, being aware that they don't know a lot, but they're willing to learn kind of thing. And this one wants to create. This one wants to take action and be inspiring. And we can learn more about how to do it if we take the cue of the Page of Wands. Because on the one hand, we're confident in ourselves and our truth and our ability to make things happy. But we also have to be humble about what it is we do. And so we might get a lesson in in learning, you know, how to be a little bit more humble in that while we're still encouraged to be create, creative and to create something new and special and wonderful during this month. In fact, it looks like despite whatever's going on in the world out there, and I still maintain it's going to be a lot of negativity out there, you have the ability, I have the ability to make, you know, to use this energy to our betterment, to our goodwill, you know, to make wonderful things happen. We've got enthusiasm in this energy. We've got, you know, spark and light in this energy. We've got the fire and the initiative to, to move forward. We're being told to be guided by love, to do it and to be open, you know, don't go with an agenda to something, but be open. And the sort of caveat here is to not, 
you know, of course you don't give up, but to not be so um, pushy that you foil your own chances to make your wishes come true, to make your own magic. Uh, in terms of what we need to focus on improving, so with all this energy, this outgoing energy of the fire and this energy of, you know, the nights, because we got a couple of nights here, taking action and making things happen. You know, we may, we're told that what we need to improve is our ability to maybe listen. And that's what the page is saying. She's saying, you know, I know I don't know. Um, but I'm willing and ready to learn how to best use my creative energy, the spark of a fire of spirit. Uh, I'm willing to learn. And the hermit, our only major arcana card, which is the energy of being guided by the knowledge within, uh, but only if you can be, you know, it's about being teachable. It's about being willing to, you know, go over there, sit down and listen, that kind of energy. Um, and it represents what we need to do more of this month um, in order to make the most of this spark. Because we've got so much action energy, we need to make sure that we find the time. And this is a strong admonition, the time to listen and, you know, integrate what it is we are learning by finding the quiet moments and the quiet places to be like the hermit, to be still so we can know, to be still and listen, to be still and given correction where we need that. This is an area high, being highlighted in terms of, you know, giving us better outcomes uh, if we can do some of this, if we can take the cue from the hermit within, the wisdom within, and um, because we may be rushing to think we know, because we are confident, because we feel the impulse of good luck coming our way, because we are knowing that we're moving in some kind of love vibration, uh, that um, we still have to know where we can be directed and taught. The hermit is a strong energy to make sure that we improve our ability to take time out, to have solitude, to listen, to check in with ourselves, to be taught, to be advised by the teacher within. Which is the Knight of Swords here, backing up really the Knight of Cups, the Six of Wands, the Queen of Wands, and the Page of Wands. The Knight of Swords is our greatest strength this month, the ability to take action. So if it means you need to say something, the ability to just get out there. This is the Lightning Knight, I like to call him, uh, because he moves sometimes, you know, like I say, the Knights take action, but whether it's advised action or it's cautionary tale because they want to move too fast, too quick, you know, is up to the individual. And this is a Knight who is rushing out there to take care of business. This will be a strength for us this month. So it backs up the idea of you being confident, standing in your truth, speaking, making your own magic, you know, being a leader, so to speak, within your circle or group or just out there. So much so that when you walk down the street, people are like, who that? You know, because you are so radiant and you're doing it with the, in the spirit of love, okay? You, are, you want victory at the end of the day, but you're monitoring yourself. The hermit is helping us monitor you know, our efforts as we do, but it's all sparked initiative here that the spirit is urging us this month. This is a strength to be able to go out there and do what needs to be done. So that's kind of reassuring. It's also about where you need to say something you know, that's correct, that's true, that you are also, you know, able to do that. You don't have the hesitation of speaking your truth in this energy as well. Lovely, lovely. I'm actually loving this, uh, this forecast. And um, maintaining balance and harmony this month, so excellent. Balances out here, the Knight of Cups who... You know, he's a Romeo. He wants to get out there and be the lover man. And we're, you know, that's our theme this month and moving out in that love energy. But the Ace of Cups here, the Ace of Cups is how we maintain balance and equilibrium. So again, it's like 
it's like it's a really interesting balance because on the one hand, we have so much energy to do, to take action, to make things happen. And we're doing that, but we're balancing it and tempering it in the love energy. This is reminding you that you can't run out of love. There is no unending supply to love. This is a divine influence card, which means that this is a gift, you know, so you're pouring out the love that you are and you get your wishes. You get to make things happen. You get to be successful. You understand and acknowledge there's still things you don't know and you're willing to be taught. You're open to being taught by your inner teacher and your divine and you are your strength is to do that this month to take that action on all fronts in the outer sphere and in the inner sphere so you're going to be really good at doing all of this this month this is really kind of amazing to me really lovely let us take a look at dragonfly spirit because this is the energy that we are being guided with from nature I know my friend Lady Virgo will love this card. This is, I think, one of her special uh, beings, the dragonfly. This is about truth and reminding us that everything we're doing, we're doing in a spirit of truth. What we say, what we create, what we desire to have come true for us, how we move in love. We do it in truth. We do it knowing who we are. This is about the fact that truth transcends illusion and hey that's what this time is about it's about breaking illusions out letting truth shine the truth is the light okay and so this is the thing to remember it's to remind us of the wisdom and truth available to us always always and just as a dragonfly catches your eye with its reflective wings and body, dragonfly spirit appears to tell you to pay attention to the truth beyond the illusion and recognize the insights that come seemingly out of nowhere, peeking through from behind the veil. In the realm of spirit, there is far more wisdom than you can perceive with your senses. So this is that you're moving, we're moving out of spirit, out of the impulse of spirit with this energy. And so we aren't relying on our senses much at all. You know, a little bit on the feelings and the emotion, uh, but it's a good thing, you know, it's all a good thing because we're being motivated ultimately a lot by the uh, universe here. There's a deep knowing that you are not separate or alone for a higher power recognizes you and loves you beyond measure. Oh yes, we know. Yes, we know. And fears dissipate as you realize you are embraced by the nurturing force that is everywhere, always in communication with you. Alighting, alighting when you are preoccupied, Dragonfly Spirit offers this message. You exist in unity with all, including the protective spirits who share their wisdom. And you're being nudged along the path your soul needs to travel, to have the experiences it craves. Love exists in many forms. And sometimes we overlook it when we don't recognize a particular form. It doesn't look like what we think it's supposed to look like, right? Pay attention to the signs now. They remind you that each of us have inspired dreams seamlessly sewn into the fabric of life of the invisible world. And there is a great consciousness mm, that exists in the seemingly empty spaces guiding us on our journey. Open to the truth. Let the wisdom of the hidden realms inform you providing insights your conscious mind overlooks. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Wow, that is a powerful message. There is so much love available. You don't always see it. It doesn't always look like what you want, but it's all around us this month. We're supposed to move in it this month. We're supposed to really know that it's always there and it's overflowing for us this month. We're supposed to know that we can take inspired action this month. We're encouraged to, and we have, in fact, it's a strength for us, and that we can make magic and have dreams come true. 
even in the midst of whatever is going on, it's a beautiful thing. And we are going to be here for it. I know I am. So, wow, what do you think? It sounds really like if we can remember this, if we can remember to be ourselves, stand up in our truth and be the leaders that we are and help bring different communities together, not with effort, not with struggle. Six of Wands tells us don't push too hard, but keep going and do that and move in love and be as a person that is humble, knows they have something to learn and listen to the inner teacher. Your strength is being able to take the action. So take it. Don't hesitate and look for the clues as you go along that you are being held by the universe, by divine love, and that it's a wonderful thing that whatever is going on out there doesn't have the power to take your good from you, okay? No, 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 no. You are moving in alignment with the divine, with divine love, and it's a great and glorious thing. So, yes, I, I'm loving this message. What do you think? How does it feel to hear this? How does it feel? So that's what I have for you. May it bless you. May you be able and willing and ready to use it. Let it be food that you ponder on this month, especially when you are meditating with the hermit in you and taking your counsel from your wisdom within. May you use it wisely. Don't make it happen, but be in the flow enough that you are moving, you know, in the energy of divine spirit, divine light and illumination, and that it will bring some something like magic, bring something like goodness and good fortune to you. I'm here for it myself. So in the meantime, I want you to remember to keep your thoughts high, keep your emotions in check, align with the divine, that's all around you, that's in you and through you and moves into the world as you. What a magnificent thing, a blessing. You are to us and we are to each other. Let us then enjoy the month of June with the spirit of harmony, community, magic making, dream fulfilling, because we're doing so in love. And until I see you, take good care of yourself. Keep your eyes on the prize. New day is the prize. You, the biggest and best and baddest that you can be, that's the prize. A wonderful world where joy and peace and love and prosperity move us all together in harmony and rhythm, and that's the prize. But for now, take good care of yourself. Goodbye. <laughs>